Well, hello there. Tom Green coming back at you with some XD goodness. And today's goodness is creating Lottie files for experience design. The addition of the ability to add Lottie file animations to your XD projects fills a rather large hole in the XD lineup. Though Auto Animate is pure gold, when you really get down to it, Auto Animate does nothing more than move something from here to there or change an element's property from this to that. Now, you also have access to Lottie files through a Lottie file plugin, which is right here, and I've added the rocket ship. Now, Lottie files are vector animations driven by JSON, which means things like walk cycles, natural movement, rocket ships, and so on, are now possible, which opens up a whole world of possibility for UX designers. The issue for many is they are really hard to create because you are led to believe they can be easily created in After Effects, which if you have never used After Effects can be rather intimidating. And that's the bad news. The good news is there is another way and I'm just going to show it to you. It is Haiku Animator, which can be downloaded from this site, haikuanimator.com. Actually, it's downloaded from GitHub. So if you click this link here, you can grab a Mac or window version of the app. So let's see how all this works. So I'm just going to close this and we're going to start work on creating a Lottie animation, which will eventually show up in XD. So I'm going to just minimize XD here and close the preview. And here we go. When you open Haiku, which is right here, you're going to be asked a question. Do you want to open an existing project or have a new project? Now, this is really, really important. When you create a new project, it's going to ask you to select an empty directory. And I do mean empty. And I've created that on my desktop and I've named it Haiku. And if you really want to see an empty folder, there it is. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select Haiku. Notice no items. If the folder has any items in it, Haiku will not work. So it's got to have no items be literally, totally empty. And the reason for this is Haiku is going to kick out a number of JSON and JavaScript files. So I'm going to select Haiku. I'm going to click Open. And the interface will now open up. So what's in that uh, empty folder when I open it up? Well, here they are. You've got everything from JavaScript to JSON files, plus a whole bunch of folders and so on. Now, don't let all of that stuff bother you. We are going to be kicking out a Lottie JSON file destined for XD or even Figma. So here's the plan. We're going to create a like icon that sort of beats. And as you can see, when the interface opens, you can use Sketch, Figma, or Illustrator. I'm going to start with Illustrator. So I click it, and Illustrator will open. So I'm just going to head over and find it. There it is, right there. And this is what you see. A blank Illustrator page with two artboards. Now you can use both of these artboards or you can use just the one. I'm just going to use the one. So I'm going to select the uh, artboard tool and just delete this artboard. Now there are a couple of ways of bringing the content in. You can open it directly in Illustrator and link it to Haiku file. Uh, you can create the file in Illustrator and copy and paste. So if it's an icon, you can create the icon and paste it in here. Or you can do what I do, just drag it in from your library. There it is. Just going to drop it into place. I'm going to close the library. And what I want to do is to shrink this down in size. So I'm going to make sure that I have the width and height selected. And I want to set the width to 50 pixels. So I'm just going to change that value. Done. Obviously, I don't need all this space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the heart up here. And I'm going to select the artboard tool. And I'm just going to 
shrink the artboard just so it fits. I don't need all that extra space. Now the key here is to actually save the file. So you're going to go to File, Save. And you're going to be told it's a legacy format. Don't worry about it. Just click OK. Now what this is is a JavaScript which will actually convert the Adobe Illustrator document that you've created to an SVG file. So you just click Continue. And if we head back to Haiku, there it is. Now to get the heart onto the artboard, we're just going to just drag it in. And we'll just put it right there in the middle of the artboard. And let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to pay attention to is this, the timeline down here, because this is where the magic happens. You can use the timing system of frames. The default is 60 frames per second, which you can see right here. Or you can change it to seconds, and you can see that it changes to time-based. I prefer to use frames. 60 frames per second gives me a ton of room to work with. Now this section here that says main allows you to change the artboard and other global properties by making a choice from this menu here, add. So if I pop it down, I got style and I can change the background. I can change the background color, uh, change the cursor, fonts, whatever else. But these are global properties. The haiku area is directly affecting the selection. Now, if you take a look down here for position X and position Y, you'll see two little diamonds. Those diamonds are keyframes. And if I want to change the properties of the haiku, which I do, I'm going to click the add and I'm going to come to scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the X and I'm going to scale the Y positions. Okay, so I want to scale these things at the same size. If you want to, you know, distort your image, you can just scale one, one of the properties, the X value or the Y value. I prefer both. Okay, so what we do is we're going to set a keyframe. Now, these are grayed out numbers, so you're going to have to add the value in. So we'll set the scale to 1, and then I press the return key. You notice I got a diamond. And I'll do the same thing with the Y. And then I'm going to come out half a second, which is 30 frames. And I'm just going to drag this keyframe to the 30 frame mark. And that's how you duplicate a keyframe. And I'm going to come out 14 frames, or should say 15 frames, which is half a second. And I'm going to change the scale value to 0.5. And then I'm going to come out to the end of the animation. I'm just going to open this up a bit. And one second mark right there, 60. And I'm going to put the scale values back to 1. Now these curves here that you see are actually the easing values. So that's ease in, ease out. And if I right click on one of them, I can actually edit the Bezier curve. See? So there's the in, there's the out. And if I want to speed th slow things down for the ease out, I can just pull this out here. If I want to speed things up, zoom. But we'll just put it back where it was. Now the other thing I can do is I can change the tween. So what I want to do is to give it a beat animation. So what I want is to basically use a bounce tween. So holding down the shift key, I'm going to select all four of these property changes. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Ease In, Ease Out, and I'm going to use a Bounce. 
And now let's see what we've got here. So I'll just come back to the zero point, click on the timeline, press the spacebar, and you can see there's the beading art. Now it seems to take a little bit too long to work, so what I want to do is extend that first beat out. So I'm going to select these two keyframes by holding down the shift key, and I'm just going to pull them out to the 15 frame mark. And let's see how that works. Oh, that's a little better. Now the next thing I want to do is shrink down this artboard. So I'm just going to take the Haiku artboard and just make it a bit smaller. Again, I'm one of these guys that just doesn't believe in wasted space. And that should just about do it. Let's make sure. So we'll just scrub across. Yep, working like a charm. Now, seeing as how I want to place this in XD, I select Project Export Lottie. And I'm going to be asked to name it. So I'm going to name it like like beat click save and it's going to my desktop now if i minimize haiku and close illustrator you can see there it is there and if i come over to the haiku folder if you take a look on the designs there is the heart that we created and there is the artboard. So you still have access to the artwork. So there's the Adobe Illustrator file and the SVG that's used inside of the uh, Haiku animation is inside Haiku AI contents. Okay, let's go over to XD and see if this thing works. So I'll come back to XD. And we'll open up our little rocket ship animation. And I'm just going to add a new artboard. There we go. And let's bring in the Lottie animation. So I'm just going to go to the layers file to dismiss that. And we'll just bring in the like. There it is. And if I select it, you'll notice I've got some preferences here. Play automatically, play on tap, no playback, and edit playback. Now, edit playback, all that does is open up the prototype and make it interactive. So we'll just play this thing automatically, and I'd like it to loop. So I just click this little icon here, and if I press play or preview, there's our Lottie animation. So there you have it, a way to create a Lottie animation for XD without attempting to master After Effects. Instead, you can use Haiku, which works with uh, Illustrator and gives you all kinds of properties that you can work with and ways to create animations.